Hey, hi, hello. How are you? Hello, I'm I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so can we start? Uh, yes. Okay. So can you tell me about your uh, experience and a technical skill set? Right, so I have close to four years of experience working in uh, IT industry, and uh, I've I've worked through various uh, companies like Capgemini, uh, TCS, uh, Cognizant. So I've worked across various domains uh, like insurance, uh, finance, and healthcare. So currently, I'm working in uh, finance domain. So I've worked on technologies like Java, Spring Boot, Microservices, and Hibernate, and I have a good hold of Java eight as well. So that is brief background about um... Okay, so today I'm going to evaluate you uh, based on your coding skills, especially Java eight. Okay. okay, so you can create a class with the uh, name as employee. Hmm. Add some inside that, and then we'll move to the problem statement. Okay. So just create one class with name as employee. Right, and what should be the fields? So you can take the fields like. Uh, employee name, hmm. the employee gender, hmm. and employee department. Okay. So I, I'll, I'm going to create a class, uh, name, gender, uh, salary, and department. I'll add uh, these four fields. Okay. All right, okay. so uh, I'm just creating the uh, class. I've created a class, and uh, let me add the fields. Private string. Uh, the first field is name. Uh, similarly, I'm going to add few more fields. So the so second one is gender. I'm keeping this as string, and then uh, uh, department is also string. And uh, for uh, salary, I'm going to keep that as either integer or uh, long or double. So I'm going to keep this as double. Okay, so these are the four fields. I'm going to create a constructor out of this. Uh, let me try to create constructor. Uh, I'm going to create getters and setters first. So I want all four fields, select all. And create the getters and setters both. Okay, so this is about getters and setters. Similarly, I'm going to create constructor out of this. Constructor using fields. So I'm going to select every field, each field, and then uh, create a constructor uh, out of this field. And finally, I'm going to uh, create a two string method which helps us. Uh, if you want to print employee object, okay. A source, okay. Uh, two string. Yeah, I can see two string here, and I'm going to print all the instance variables. So this will help us see the output. Okay, so I've created the employee object using four fields. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to create a list of employees, and you have to find the number of male employees and a number of female employees. Okay, so I have to create a list of employees and find male and female employees, all right? Yes, correct. You have to count basically a male and female employees. Right, so I'm creating a demo class, which is going to do this, okay? All right, and what should be the uh, input for that list? Uh, I have provided you, uh, you can copy that. Okay. You've given me um, the chat. Let me let me check. Okay, so I can see uh, something is there in the chat. So let me create a list of uh, employee. The first thing is I'm going to import the list from java.util and employee. I'm going to call this as employees. Okay, I'm going to call this as uh, employees equal to so there's a method arrays dot as list. So arrays dot as list. And uh, I'm going to create a list using this method. And as you provided me the input objects, so I'm going to copy that from the chat and I'm going to 
paste it. So these these are the uh, things you provided: uh, name, gender, salary, and uh, their department. Okay. Now the first thing I am going to do is uh, count the male and female employees from this list. So for that, uh, I'm going to use stream. So for Java, it, you have to work with streams. So the first thing is getting the stream out of employees list. And then we are going to collect this thing. And for collecting, we are going to make use of a special uh, thing, which is grouping by the gender and then using uh, the counting method to count um, employees of group by gender. So first thing is grouping by and then counting employees in each uh, group. Okay. So let me try to do that. Uh, collectors collectors dot uh, grouping by so for grouping by we have to pro provide the field by which we are going to uh, group by okay so that field for us is gender so let me use that field employee and get gender okay so this is the field by which we are going to group by and we have a specific requirement of finding the count as well so i'm going to use uh, method of collectors, which is collectors dot counting, right? This will give me uh, the group by of gender and count of uh, each group. So to take that in a return type, I'm going to use a map. So as our uh, department is string, so I'm going to do string and then along because we are going to use count and I'm going to uh, name this as uh, group by uh, gender equal to and finally what i'll do i'll uh, try to print it so group by gender okay so let me go ahead and uh, try to run this hmm. so we have four female employees and four male employees so let me check in the input as well male one two three and four four male and four female employees Okay, that's good. Okay, now uh, what you have to do, you have to find the highest paid male employee and highest paid female employee from this list only. Okay, you want highest paid male employee and highest paid um, female, female employee. employee. Okay, okay. Yeah. So for this, uh, if you want to find highest paid male and female, then I'm going to make use of uh, uh, max. There is a there is a method known as max which uh, gives us the max salary and I'm going to use uh, this for male and female employees. So let me, let me try this. Uh, employees is our list where all the employees are present. Uh, then stream. Uh, here I'm going to use filter because uh, we want uh, filtering on the male employee and then we are going to find max from that thing. So to filter, what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. e dot uh, get gender is equal to equal to male or dot equals male so let's go with equals okay and this should be male so this will give me all the male employees in the list okay now the next step is uh, to use so let me see what is the error okay so it's asking to complete the statement so i'm going to use max right and we have to find max of what? We have to find max of uh, salary. So that uh, there's a uh, convenience method known as comparator dot comparing double, where we can compare two doubles of the object. So comparator dot comparing double. This will compare the salary of uh, each employee and will find uh, the maximum salary from uh, the list. Okay. So let me do the comparing double and what we have to compare we have to compare the mm, salary fee employee dot get salary so this will give me the max of max salary of the male employees all right so let me take this in optional of employee and uh, highest male salary equal to this let me import optional as well. Okay. After this, uh, let me format it. So this this will give me optional. If uh, the highest salary is present, then 
the object will be present else uh, the option will be absent so let me go ahead and sys out for highest paid salary or else null so if the salary is present it will give the highest paid salary or it will give null so let me run this this will give me for male and then similarly we can do it for female okay Okay, so you see here, uh, you need 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 lakh. So this is the highest paid male employee. Similarly, I'll just go ahead and copy it instead of writing the code. And we have to just make one change uh, for female and uh, highest female salary. And I'm going to use this optional rather than the earlier option okay and let me run this <coughs> okay so alice is with uh one lakh twenty thousand as a female employee okay great now uh, what you have to do you have to find the highest paid salary or highest paid male employee from each department or highest paid female employee from each department Okay, okay. So now uh, I have to perform similar operation, but I have to find highest paid male employee salary and highest paid female employee salary for each department rather than uh, from the yes. overall list. Correct. Okay, all right. So for this, I have to go one step further and uh, I have to group by department first because we have to find highest paid salary from each department. So let's try to employees dot stream. Stream is the primary thing that we do. Then I'm going to do collect. And in collect, the first thing I'm going to perform is uh, grouping by employee, uh, grouping by department. So let's try to group by department, employee, head department. So till now, what we have done, we have uh, grouped by uh, the department. Okay. Now I'll try to close the collect. Right. So once the grouping by is done, I'm going to use for each. Okay. For each. Uh, and just to correct you, I guess you are missing grouping by clause. Grouping by function. Grouping by function. Okay. Inside collect function. Inside just correct. check. Okay. Okay. All right. So collectors. Uh, I missed that. Collectors dot uh, grouping by. And what we have to group by? Uh, we have to group by by department. So employee get department okay so this is group by department i'll close the collect and then i'll use uh, for each and in the for each what i'm going to get i'm going to get the department name and employees which belong to that department okay so let me go ahead and uh, take this to the new line that i'm more comfortable so here I'm going to get two things. The first thing is as I'm grouping by department. So department is the field uh, department. And the second field is the employee list. All the employees who belong to that department. Okay. Now I'm going to write the uh, logic to find um, to find the highest paid uh, male and female employees from each department. So for, for that, I'm going to use uh, EMP list dot stream dot uh, filter what we have to filter we have to filter two things we have to filter male employees and we have to filter female employees okay so i can i can uh, copy the above uh, statement as well this is what we have to do for male employee but uh, this time we have done group by first and then we are uh, actually doing the uh, group by all right, so this is my uh, male optional. And similarly, I'm going to copy the female, the one that we have done above. But this time, uh, the thing is, we are doing this uh, after grouping by department. Okay, so these are the two optional. Group by. Group by. Okay, and finally, it's time to uh, print the department the highest paid male employee and the highest paid female employee from that department. Okay. So let's try to do that. Uh, sys out. 
department is uh, the first uh, parameter, which is this after grouping by, you see here. Okay. Now I'm going to print the highest paid male employee. Okay. So we have already gotten the uh, optional highest paid male employee. Uh, this is for this department, uh, which is um, the optional or else null. Okay, and similarly, uh, highest paid female employee, which is again this optional. Okay, and uh, for male employee, it's this option. Right. So this should give us uh, uh, the highest paid male and female employees for each uh, department. So let me try to run this. Okay, I'll try to make it bigger. Hmm. So for finance department, uh, male employee is Tom, who has the high salary, and female is Alice. For uh, HR department, similarly, we have Tom and Alice. Uh, let me check if it is Tom and Alice each time. So looks like you are iterating yeah, over employees, employees list so... instead of EMP list. Right. So we have to. Yeah, correct. Yeah, we have to iterate over this EMP list because we have done grouping by one department and then this becomes our input list. Okay, so let me try to run this. All right, so for, for finance, it is Tom and Alice. For HR, it is James and Sarah. And for IT, it is John and Mary. So this is how I'm going to uh, crack this problem. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm done from my side. Uh, do you have any question for me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.